Okay, this video is on how to take a car apart, a digital car. Literally, take it completely apart. I recommend everybody that bought a digital set do exactly what I'm going to do with every one of their cars, okay? Here we go. We're going to take this car down to nothing, okay? First, I'm going to pry off the uh, guide pin. Guide pin. Okay? Part number one. Next, we're going to take the screws off the chassis. Unscrew them. Get yourself a jeweler screwdriver. Okay, okay, we're going to unscrew that. Hopefully I can do this under two minutes. Because if you don't do this, take your set back. Honestly. Okay, we got three screws. Okay, one, two, three. Got those, okay. Body, that's our body, okay. Your lights are on the body, which are two prongs. Okay, these sometimes can get out of whack which are not making good contact right here and right here next to your chip, okay? So you want to always check those if your lights aren't working. Okay, so we have the body. I'll set that right here. Okay, next thing we do is we're going to pop out the motor mount. Bend the car a little bit. Watch this. I'm going to pop that right out. Okay, I'm now going to pop the axle, so I'm going to clean the axle. There, our axle's now taken off. Okay, I'm going to pop the motor mount, the motor out of the motor mount. Put a screwdriver underneath. Pop it, boom, we got the motor, motor mount. I'm going to show a picture of all the parts that I'm doing here, okay? Next thing, computer chip, computer chip. Next thing is the axles. Now, these are the, the I think they're the easiest to get off. You basically push down on one wheel to get the strut off, strut off the other side, boom, one wheel done. Next wheel, boom, next wheel done, done. Now, here's the tricky part taking off your spring unit, okay? Get from one side, the back side of the car, press a little bit so that it pops out, and boom, the spring, okay? And there are all the components to a digital car, everything. There's not much to these guys, okay? Had a guy call me, got a brand new car. Basically, it was the... Uh, Austin Martin wouldn't run. You know what the problem was? I'm going to let you guys answer. If you guys have watched these videos, what's the number one problem if the car's not running? We'll tell you. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to put the computer chip back in. Pop the computer chip in. Okay. Pop the motor back in the motor mount. Okay, how do we do that? We put the, ax or the front um, um, gear in first. We get it in here, kind of like a shoehorn, snap it right in. Look at that, guys. Isn't that awesome? We're going to put the axle back on. Boom. Put the uh, brushes, uh, get that snapped in. Boom. Okay. Biggest problem with car not running is these prongs have been bent up like this. You got to bend them down, okay, so that when you snap it back in, Making good contact, okay? Now, see how that one spread off? Now, that might not make good contact to run. Bend it over so you got good contact on your motor and your chip, okay? So, let's get this car put back together, okay? First, I'm going to put the spring back in. I'm going to mount that, get that underneath here, okay? Then, I'm going to pull the spring. i got to get out of your way so you can see that. See how it's springing in there? I'm now going to pop that in there. The spring's in. We're now going to put the guide or the guide pin back in boom the guide pins in now we're going to put the computer chip in okay all right and lift up the armature before you stick it in there or else it gets stuck underneath there make sure they're nice nice click okay now we're going to put the axles on very simply you put them in one side here get the strut in first this is a little tricky but hey you know what if you don't like doing this, this is part of the fun. Gosh, I'm telling you guys, this is part of the fun. Okay, I had one guy, his, his son and himself took the cars apart. They were so excited about doing it as a father and son. That's the whole point. Having fun with your kids. Okay, all right. Let your kids play with a couple of these. Take them apart. You know what? Listen, guys, if you accidentally break a piece, call me. Okay, I'll send you the part out. Don't worry about it. Look at that. Okay, we got that done. We got that done. Snap that back in. We're going to put the body back on. Okay. We're going to put the two screws in. Boom, boom. 
Boom, we're gonna screw that back on. Of course, you gotta make sure it's lined up. And of course, I don't have it lined up. And why do I do that? Oh well, at least you guys know that I'm human. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got to make sure the back uh, uh, axle ports uh, fit in. And the armature doesn't get stuck in the upper chassis well. <laughs> Alrighty now, let's get that screwed back together again. Of course it's not going together like I want. Because I'm rushing it. And one thing I've learned is never rush anything. You know what I mean? And I'm rushing it. <laughs> oh, I didn't put this together right. First of all, if it goes back to front. See that? Now, if I did that right the first time, I'd have had this together a lot sooner. But, because I'm always in a hurry, and my screwdriver always falls over, See now, if I had done this really quick, there wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been funny. You wouldn't have had fun, and you say, "Well, this guy's just bore." Okay, all right, boom, car's done. All right, now let's. Uh, um, then you just put it on the track, and boom, you're ready to go. You should do this with every one of your digital cars. If you do this once a month with your digital cars, they'll last a lot longer. End of video.